Last time I gave crumbs. But I just couldn't forgive her, no matter what. What am I truly guilty of? Murder. I'm guilty of never. <laughs> but besides that, though. Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to this fun, swinging sci-fi lobby music. Hey. Oh. It's got a really like... Absolutely. And that's Wendy Oldbag in that, um... In that daft punkian spacesuit. Yeah, remember Wendy Old Bag? Yeah. Good stuff. Puff it a puff puff puff. I, I love a good vest that just has buttons and Yeah. And looks like an old school tape to tape reel. Yeah. Definitely. Anyway, uh, welcome back. Uh, here we go. Um, so did something happen? Uh I don't have all the details. But it looks like another one of those incidents happened again. Uh, an, an incident? Like a murder kind of incident? Maybe. You'll s you see, I'm a bit of a devilish woman. So wherever I go, showers of blood are sure to follow. Bet you didn't know that. Um, then shouldn't you quit being a security guard, at least for other people's sake? Silence, whippersnapper! rat a tat 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 <laughs> Hey, Nick! What is it? I don't like that devilish smile playing on your lips. It's me, like we're gonna use the bathroom and check things out. Uh, no way! The police told us not to go anywhere, remember? Oh, God. What? That was that one was bad. Oh, your, your own... Did you just get grossed out by your own burp? Yeah, dude. Wow. That's, that's fucking rank. Nice. All right. Huh? How B-O-R-I-N-G? <laughs> boring! <laughs> Such a boring guy. You got no motivation, no spirit. Huh? What? What's going on? Are you giving Mystic Maya trouble again, Mr. Nick? No. Not you two, Pearls. God. Please don't stick your little nose into this one. They're multiplying. <laughs> so listen to this, Pearly. This one time at lawyer camp, Nick. Okay, I get it. Let's go take a look. Yeah. Yay. I knew you couldn't say no to me, Nick. That, was that an American Pie reference? I think it was. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You'd walk over miles of hot colds for Mystic Maya, wouldn't you, Mr. Nick? That would be every time we work a case together. It does feel like I'm dragging myself over <laughs> unbelievably painful coals. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go already. You can come along too, Pearly. Oh, great. Daddy, I get to come. I get to come. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my microphone just collapsed on my body. My microphone fell on me, but we're back now. That's right. It's the stage for the post-ceremony stage show. <laughs> Dan gingerly. I'm very the nervous. <laughs> there was supposed to be a press meeting after the show, but now, no press meeting. <laughs> Marge. <laughs> it looks like no one will hear what the Nickel Samurai had to confess after all. Boy, that Nickel Samurai font is just, it just screams quality. Yeah. You know, not that I, uh, not that I consider myself a smarty pants or anything, mm -hmm. but, uh, I have the sense that maybe he wanted to confess something that was very serious and maybe, uh, accused somebody else of something pretty bad and, uh, that person murdered him. Hold it! <laughs> I'm gonna say these cameras were set up to cover the post-ceremony stage show. But I wonder where everyone's gone abandoning their cameras like this. Pretty expensive cameras and nobody would be miss them if they were gone. <laughs> I guess something big must have happened. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. These cameras here it's, it's just sitting around. Hey, we're, we're here, so we might as well take some pictures, okay? Everyone sit in a chair! But we're all out of film. Don't worry about it. There's a zillion cameras over there we can put. <laughs> She's the best. Hey, hey, you can't just go and borrow an expensive professional camera like that. Unless. Nick. <laughs> I'm not gonna borrow it. That was just a nice way of saying steal. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like there's a fancy restaurant on the second floor. Still feel like eating? I mean, since we're here, you know. Don't pull the since we're here trick on me. What a beautiful mansion. Do you live in this wonderful world every day, Mr. Nick? No. No, this is my first play time in a place like this. He's just an Shit. asshole. No. 
<laughs> half, half, oh yeah, I forgot about her. She's half paraffin. She is paraffin and half. Paraffin, paraffin. Do you think we'll go? <laughs> Keep world talking hard, bro. There's nothing really out of the ordinary here. Are you looking for the incident that the old lady was telling you about? Doesn't look like it happened here. Well, we better go look somewhere else. All right, then let's try. Excuse me. Eck! Oh my god. Are you by chance Miss Maya Fay? Um, yeah, that's me. You have a phone call waiting for you at the front desk. Is this guy a blackjack reference? That's pretty cool. A call? I wonder if it's someone from Kurain Village. What the fuck happened to your face? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nothing. You guys go on ahead. I'll be right there, okay? <laughs> okay. Like, you know how kids have no filter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right this way, Mrs. Faye. Miss Faye. He's carrying a whole rotisserie chicken on his fucking plate. <laughs> Let's go look somewhere else now, Mr. Nick. Yeah, okay. This is a little exciting and a little scary. All right. Let's fucking go to the hallway. Holy shit. I think this might be where all the stuff happened. Hmm. I told you. I get people the info they want, which means that I've got a right to know. Oh, this is definitely gumshoe. Yeah. Oh, you want to? Oh, you okay? Uh, nope. Don't care who you are, pal. We're still investigating, so you can't go in. What's your problem? Uh, that's you. That's not you. That's you. Yeah. Just you wait. It'll be all over the morning paper. Scruffy detective secret scandal revealed. You'll see. I'll get you back. Those two sound pretty serious. That southern accent can only mean... Southern oh, it's accent. fucking Lada, dude. <laughs> this is her. Hey, right. You better believe it. Hey, Lada. Come on, do a gal a favor and tell this cop I'm just doing my job and I've got rights. Is there only one cop in all of Japan? Yeah. Hey, you! Uh, Detective Gumshoe. Hey, pal, help a guy out. Tell her that only the police are allowed here. This is the scene of a murder, so she should leave this to us pros. Uh, a murder? Ah, shoot, me and my big mouth. See, I knew it. My gut instinct told me so. I always trust my gut. A murder, it said, and that's what it is. A genuine gut murder. H hey, wait. Yeehaw, a murder of a big star, no less. Oh, man, I'm in trouble now. Well, what's up, Gumshoe? How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Detective Gumshoe, a murder? Uh, no, that's not it. I got my facts mixed up yeah, for a second Yeah, you misheard that. Pal. <laughs> um, Mr. Nick, is the dead person the Nickel Samurai? Huh? Why do you ask? Well, Mystic Maya was rooting for him, so... It wasn't the Nickel Samurai that got bumped. Oh, please not the jamming ninja. <laughs> Actually, the Nickel Samurai is the one under suspicion of doing the bumping off. What? The guy that died no! was this hero named the Jammin' Ninja, pal. I really liked him. The Jammin' Ninja? Well, let's talk about someone else for a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, that woman with the big puffy hair that looks like cotton candy? You mean Lada? No. <laughs> that woman, she was there that time too, right? That time? When Mystic Maya did that channeling. Oh, that time. Yeah, well, Lada's a journalist, so that's why she was there. Sure. No. Yes. Good I thought work. she was a genius. <laughs> I thought she was like a child prodigy She's genius. a child prodigy at channeling. Oh, okay. It looks like she was hanging around here before the murder happened. Hanging around? Yeah, hiding and waiting for the jamming ninja's door, pal. But why would she... She wouldn't tell me, pal. Just said something about getting my big scoop. Scoop? What sort of news could she be after? I... Uh, I mean, murder. Yeah. <laughs> so the victim was the jamming ninja? You knew him? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys you guys chill, you guys party. <laughs> he was on a really popular rival TV show to the Nickel Samurai. Oh. The victim was the action star Juan Corida. God, he's handsome. 
He got a huge push and rode the express train to stardom. I mean, even I know who he is. <laughs> yeah, even I recognize his face. He's like 70s soap opera star handsome. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I heard lately that Matt Ongard's been taking the wind out of his sail. I'm telling you, pal, as far as who's popular, those two are hogging all the limelight. Well, one now. <laughs> yeah. Leaving no room for old gumshoe over here. <laughs> I guess there's no space for Mr. Powers at all, huh, poor guy? There is now. Oh, yeah. Mr. On Guard, um, that's the Nickel Samurai, right? Yep. I mean, no! You gotta say it with more oomph! The Nickel Samurai! Anyway, so now that one Hori Cori is gone, that means Mr. On Guard has the whole stage to himself, wouldn't you say? I wouldn't bet on it, pal. We can't have that happen, you know? Can't have that happen? What's that supposed to mean, I wonder? Well, it'd be great if I could ask him, but yeah, I guess but I'll just Yeah, move. I guess that's the perfect time to end this conversation. Could I present my... badge to him? Nope. No. He's not gonna do it. Alright, bye. <laughs> Let's go to the Viola Hall. Let's go to the hotel lobby. Let's... Talk. Fuck. What? What? What's going on? <laughs> that is nothing. All right. Uh, talk to Gumshoe. Everything's oh, I just realized cool. that, that, um... That circle on the spaceship helmet is her breathing. <laughs> oh, it's like the, it's like the vapor from yeah, her. Yeah, I thought it was like a light reflection at first. I did too. Yeah, that's interesting and funny. Uh, I want to know about Mr. On Guard, my friend. The Nickel Samurai. He really took the Grand Prix tonight. My is a big fan of his. Really? Oh, I'm sorry then. Why are you sorry? Matt Ongard was just arrested, pal. On suspicion of murdering Juan Corita. What? He would never! <laughs> yeah, he just, like, just learned about him. I don't know any of these fucking people! Why was Mr. Ongard arrested? Why do you think, Phoenix? <laughs> Sorry. Really search your brain. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, pal, but that's not something I can tell you. We just started the investigation, so we don't want any leaks. Looks like yet another Steel Samurai hero is in hot water. Um, Mr. Nick, if Mrs. Maya knew about this? Yeah, I know. She'd make me take this case. I know. <laughs> Why would I want work? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on vacation. It's fucking ridiculous. Enjoying this lobster? Hey, so what's going on, Mr. Wright? It looks like Juan Corita has been killed. Wh what? Juan is... he's... It looks like he was murdered, and a suspect was arrested. That suspect is Mr. Matt On Guard. You're joking, right? So now there's no superhero <laughs> actors available. <laughs> nope, they arrested the Nickel Samurai on suspicion of murdering the Jammin' Ninja. Wouldn't that be crazy if he was the fucking murderer? Oh, after all that, like, after he used to be a good guy? Yeah. I mean, geez, talk about a motive. Seriously. Ugh, not again. I feel sick. Again? About a year ago, something like this happened. Pearls. I still can't believe. No way. No way Matt would... What's Mr. Powers got in his hand? Oh, oh, before I forget, this, this is for you, Mr. Ray. I got this from the bellboy that came by earlier. It's a teleportation device. The one with the fucked up face. <laughs> I heard that. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> for me, but why? I don't know. All he said was it was for Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney, so he gave it to a stranger. <laughs> so tell me about Matt and Juan. Matt is the most energetic and active actor out there right now. The Nickel Samurai really sealed his place as a pop idol, but he kept adding fuel to the fire's rivalry with Juan anyway. I like the new drawing. Hmm. Mr. Juan, he's the jamming ninja, right? Yeah, Pearl. Why do I have you with you with me? <laughs> Go home. 
<laughs> These two would butt heads over everything they could think of, but I'd say that Matt was the one who almost always came out on top. I guess some people only know how to relate to others by butting heads like a ram. One said that he'd take Matt on it this time, to <clears throat> One said that he'd take Matt on this time, too, so he joined a rival TV show. And that was the Jamming Ninja? Yes. <laughs> the stylish Nickel Samurai and the burning Jamming Ninja. Well, things turned messy real fast with these two using their shows for their war. In the final tally, look around. It's pretty obvious how things ended up. How? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody slow turns. Pearl, please. Can you Matt, not be part of this? <laughs> Matt even won the Grand Prix this year. The final win over his rival, I guess. I think the final win was, was the murdering murder. him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. On Guard was going to hold a press conference, wasn't he? That's what I heard. Though if you wanted to get technical about it, it was the Nickel Samurai conference. Stupid. Samurai. Stupid sexy samurai. <laughs> the nickel samurais. Yeah, he was supposed to wear his costume and give the press conference that way. He was gonna be in costume, but why? I'm not sure. They don't keep me in the loop anymore. I'm on that children's show, remember? Um, I was just wondering, where's Miss Maya? She's been gone a long time. Uh, she's fine, don't worry about it. Now that she mentions it, Maya was only going to answer a phone call. Maybe she got lost. In the three rooms we've been going to. <laughs> I'll take a quick look around for her. Okay, unattended child. Now Pearl's gone. <laughs> Ack. What is it, Mr. Nick? Huh? I'm not sure. It's coming from this transceiver. Yes, hello? Right here. Is this Mr. Phoenix right here, Tony? And you are? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with, such as... Help, Nick! Mystic Maya! Do you think she's okay? <laughs> Maya? No, Pearl. <laughs> so, Mr. Wright, wouldn't you agree that the more important issue is the fate of the girl? Her fate? Does he mean what I think he means? Maya, where are you? Are you hurt? Maybe he means her feet, but he just has an accent. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Come now, don't fall apart on me yet. This. No, this can't be. Now that I have your attention, Mr. Attorney, I have a modest proposal for you. Okay. If you do what I require, then I will return you your valuable item unharmed. Stop with that. What is this called again in your fancy lawyer terms? Leverage? Oh, kidnapping for ransom. Yes, that's it. This is a kidnapping. <laughs> My sight, everything's fading away, imprisoning me, all that I see, absolute horror. Maya, Maya, she's been kidnapped. You there, Mr. Attorney, are you there? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, dude, uh, hey, how much, how much do you want? Very good, Mr. Attorney. I'm glad you have such a good grasp of the situation. Hurry up and stay your condition, and then return Maya. Money is not what I see. What? What I want is a certain verdict. I would like a complete acquittal. Complete acquittal? What in the world have you done to need? I am not the person you will be re representing. What? You are currently at the Gatewater Hotel, are you not? And I know that a murder has just taken place there. Juan Corita was killed and the suspect is Matt on guard. Cool is just blabbing that out to <laughs> everyone. Yeah, exactly. You are, as expected, quite on top of things, Mr. Returning. Yeah, Maya just comes around the corner. Hey, Nick, how's it going? <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> oh my god! What Karina said? <laughs> now then, what I want is very simple. I want you to obtain a complete acquittal for Matt on guard. Matt on guard? But why? He did not kill anyone. I can attest to that. However... Okay, well, it would really help if you could attest to that on the stand. Yeah! <laughs> However, someone is framing him for the murder. A very smart someone who is setting him up to take the fall. If I agree and do what he wants, can I believe he'll keep his end of the bargain? You are, of course, at liberty to take me at my word or not. However, 
There is one thing you can take as fact. Right now, your very precious item is with me. In my possession. What did you take? My bong? <laughs> <laughs> Help! Nick! My bong can talk? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like Maya! <laughs> Maya! <laughs> I'm gonna name my bong Maya! <laughs> You have two days. I wait till I tell her that my bomb sounds like her. <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> of course, tonight he will be in questioning with the police. But the trial is in two days. At that trial, you will win a not guilty verdict. Remember, you only have one chance. One chance, Mr. Attorney. One? You expect me to get a not guilty in one trial day? Yes, exactly. I don't believe I was wrong in choosing you, so don't let me down. It's kind of a final boss situation if you- Yeah. Uh, uh! <laughs> oh yes, that's right. I forgot you're very gassy. <laughs> now that I'm playing the role of the kidnapper, I can't pass up this chance to say, whack a lack a ding dang do and don't even think about calling the cops. Hmm, not great, but you get the idea. Damn it, who, who the hell are you? Very well, I'll tell you that much. My name is... The killer. <laughs> My name is Mike. Last name Oxenfire. <laughs> no. Mr. Nick, where is Mr. Fire? She's been kidnapped. No, it's all my fault. Why? If only I'd gone with Mr. Fire. You too would have been kidnapped. It's not your fault, Pearls. Well, this is awesome. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I think we- I think we should tell the police what's going on. <laughs> no, we can't My do that. My cock's on fire is not a real name. <laughs> You're very good. Very good, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's like a super old joke. <laughs> if we do, who knows what will happen to Maya. Mr. Nick, what about the detective we saw earlier? Detective Gumshoe. Yes, that's it. Oh, yeah. Wait here and I'll be right back. All right, I'll take care of Pearl while you're away. Like, kill her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Ransom? Shh, that's so loud. Jesus, Gumshoe. <laughs> that guy told me not to go to the cops and I immediately went to the cops. <laughs> you went to the cops? <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> the ransom is complete. The ransom is complete acquittal for on guard. Wait, the deal is complete acquittal in exchange for Maya, you mean? Then this means Man on Guard is obviously the killer, pal! No doubt about it! But the guy said that Mr. On Guard is innocent. You really believe what a kidnapper tells you, pal? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess he did sound like Mr. On Guard. <laughs> uh, if On Guard really is innocent, then why the kidnapping? And on top of everything else, there's all this evidence we keep finding! <laughs> huh? The forensics team's having a field day back there. <laughs> They're having the time of their lives. <laughs> Woo! Like, Wee! Fucking rolling around blood in around. fingerprint dust. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, they found Matt on guard, and he's saying, "I did it! I did it!" over and over again. They're doing cartwheels. <laughs> um, but it's strange. There's so much evidence that it feels like something's wrong. There's too much evidence. Is that possible? Actually, didn't the kidnapper say something about on guard being set up? Anyway, looks like you won't be leaving here tonight, pal. Why don't you stay in my room a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> no reason. Just, just sit tight and cooperate. With the investigation. <laughs> Tomorrow you can start yours. Uh, Alright. Isn't there another way? We've also got to be careful about pushing the kidnapper the wrong way. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Wouldn't want him kidnapping anyone. That's right. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Date, uh, time, uh, location, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, uh, my head. Oh, sick! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get fucked up! Isn't this the exact same closet that was in The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh my gosh. Do you remember that? Vaguely. It does feel familiar. Wh where am I? I wonder if I'm still in that hotel. What happened to me? Nick? Pearly? Come on, you guys. This isn't funny anymore. It was funny at first. Yeah. 
And a Washington Bordeaux? <laughs> Ew! <laughs> <laughs> I see you have awoken. Ah! Who, who are you? Me. I am known as the Killer. Ah. Wait, like a rapper? Or... The, the Killer? You mean like an assassin? I I'm too young to die. You know, in retrospect, he is the one who asked her to come make a phone call. Or oh, take yeah. a phone call, yeah. Don't worry. You are not my target. For now, anyway. Uh, 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 Nick! Nick! Where are you? Help me! Yes, that's right. Why, are, why is my name question marks? I just said I'm the killer. <laughs> Only one person can save you now, and that is Mr. Phoenix Wright. Huh? What? Nick? Nick's gonna save me? Calm down and be a good girl. Think of this as a business transaction. Now, can you tell me if this Ziffindel has a nutty top note? <laughs> uh, a business transaction? I feel like the top note's more woody. <laughs> ah, yes, exactly what I thought. I'm interesting, going, interesting. I'm going to contact him now. I hope you'll cooperate and play your ass. Signed, roll well. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, what's going to happen to me? Nick, Pearly. If I drink too much substandard wine, I get angry! <laughs> Sis! Alright. Is this Mr. Phoenix Wright, the attorney? You don't need to know who I am. I think you have other things to be concerning yourself with. Such as... Oh, it's like playing back what happened before. A new car! So it was... Not question mark, question mark, question mark. In fact, we know exactly when that happened. Yeah, yeah. Like fucking one minute before you got the phone call. Yeah, earlier today. Good morning! <laughs> uh, morning, pearls. <laughs> what a bright and sunny day! <laughs> Mr. Nick, come on, let's hurry and go see Mr. On Guard. We have to wait a bit, pearls. Visiting hours don't start until 9 a.m., so... <gasps> <laughs> Oh, I see. Ah, uh, Mystic Maya, if only, if only I had gone with you. <laughs> <laughs> poor, <laughs> poor Pearl, she's been like this since last night. We managed to get home somehow yesterday evening, thanks to Detective Gumshoe gently holding her by the hand and leading her here. <laughs> but by the look, but, but by the looks of it, I don't think Pearl's got any sleep at all last night. Mr. Nick, Mystic Maya, she's all right, right? Yeah, she's all right. Either way, I'm going to save her. You can trust me on that. Yeah, she's all right. As long as I don't force her to drink any Chardonnay from Spain. <laughs> <laughs> please, please help her. I'm only able to stay this calm and collected because Pearls is doing the crying for the both of us. Can't wait to talk to her more. <laughs> um, I have a thought. <laughs> Congratulations. Huh? It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> My brain. <laughs> You're going to represent Mr. On Guard, aren't you? Yeah, I don't really seem to have a choice. Um, but what if, what if he is the real murderer? What would you fucking do? <laughs> would you fight to get a not guilty for a murderer to save Mystic Maya? Wow, really raising the stakes here, Pearl. Yeah. Let's talk to Mr. On Guard first, okay? We can think of we can think all the bad things we want, but it doesn't change a thing. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I, I can't stop thinking about it. Pearls. I can't stop thinking about your dad. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that dad? <laughs> <laughs> What's your dad like? <laughs> Pearls, you're really worried about my aren't you? <laughs> I don't have anyone else left in this world. Cool, thanks. I'm, like, <laughs> yeah. right here. What do you mean? My family's all gone. Her family? My father. Yeah, what about your father? Where, yeah, where's your what, what's he up to? <laughs> where's <his> lips? <laughs> <laughs> he left my mother in the village behind and went away. I'm sorry. And my mother, she did that thing. Oh, for me. Remember that thing? You know the we thing? She like, helped a murderer, murder yes, someone. There's a thing. Mystic there's, Maya. Mystic Maya. Oh. She's like a sister to me. All right, Pearl. Like, I know. <laughs> we don't have to go through your whole family. I know. She's all I have to left in this world. <laughs> and then my dog. <laughs> uh, right. uh, don't even get me started on my fish. There's like 50 of them. <laughs> like Mr. Swims and Mrs. Swimmy Swims. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Both of them fish! <laughs> Detention center. Couldn't wait for visiting hours to start, so Pearls and I came down here early. And now we're fucking bored. She didn't even bring a Game Boy. To visit one nickel samurai charged with the murder of the Jammin' Ninja. Real adult shit. Hi! <laughs> I've been accused of murder. <laughs> Good morning, how are you today? I know the situation might be a little tough for you. Um, we're... Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> Already signed up. Excuse me? I already have life insurance. I signed up a long time ago because my job is, you know. Oh, no, n we're not insurance salespeople. Really? Dude, I really don't need that right now either. Fire extinguishers. I mean, this building isn't my house, so. Oh my God, sometimes the screenwriting. <laughs> no, no, we're not here to sell you fire extinguishers either. I'm a lawyer. My name is Phoenix Wright. A lawyer? What is that? <laughs> Hold on a sec. I'm gonna ask my manager, okay? The Nickel Samurai sure is a strange person, isn't he? Yeah, it kind of makes me not want to defend him. I think I... he might be like stupid as shit. <laughs> wow, did your clairvoyance tell you that? <laughs> I think strange is an understatement. Sorry about that. You're just in time. Huh? No, Phoenix. You're a lawyer, dude, right? My manager's looking for a good one right now, so how about it? Mr. Nick is a subpar lawyer! <laughs> Mr. Nick, this is our chance! I have to make him let me take this case. I have to! Let me take your case! Sorry to intrude, but I would like to ask you a few personal questions. Um, that's okay, but dude, my autobiography's coming out soon, so... If I say stuff without the publisher's approval, then I'm gonna be in real hot water. Oh god, are we gonna have to fucking do this bit over and over again? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna go ask my publisher, okay? Mr. Ongard is so lucky. Stupid people usually don't get <laughs> coddled through life like this. <laughs> he has so many people he can talk to. Um, I don't know if he actually has anyone he can really talk to. Sorry about that. Like I thought, the publisher said it'd be real bad if I said anything, dude. Does he have a mind of his own? What, my publisher? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. On Guard, I would like to ask you about the murder. Oh, are you covering this for a tabloid as a side job, dude? Um, uh, well, if you want my statement on this, you should ask through my staff. No, oh, no, no, I'm not asking on behalf of a tabloid. Uh, oh my god, please. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna go ask the president of the studio, okay? Jesus Christ. Is he alright, Mr. Nick? No! <laughs> if we're talking about Mr. Ongar's brain here, I wouldn't put my money on it. Sorry about that. The studio president said, even Neo Mount Fuji itself knows that I'm not the murderer. Um, Mr. Nick, what's Neo Mount Fuji? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's a mountain on the city of Neo Old Tokyo, the city that Nickel Samurai protects. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nick, what are you gonna do with that? <laughs> I don't know yet! <laughs> but I figured I could at least show it to him! Is that a transceiver? Hey, it looks like a real nice one, too. I got it as a present from someone. Can I call someone on it? <laughs> hmm, interesting. I've also been instructed to take your case. Is that what you heard from the transceiver? Yes. Dude. That's terrible. Don't let some disembodied voice boss you around. Alright, dude. <laughs> it's coming from a man with a cell phone on his wrist. Okay. Let's see what else you got to say. Nothing? You got fucking nothing to say? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. What okay. happened? Let's give you the fucking right there. What's that? It's a ticket for the press conference. You were gonna give one after winning the Grand Prix, right? Huh, meh? Yes, while well, you were in costume, no less. Um, I never heard anything like that, dude. I only heard about the stage show. I was... I leave that kind of stuff to my manager. You didn't know. That's odd. Well, dude, I think it's about time for me to get going. 
Please, wait. I really need to take your case. Get going where? You're in jail. There's all these other people in need of a lawyer, right? Want me to introduce you to a few? Please, please let Mr. Nick represent you. Okay, on account of the chipmunk? <laughs> <getting me. laughs> man, oh man, lawyers these days. Now you dudes use kids to pull in clients too? If you don't take me as your lawyer, I'll fucking kill you. Then the killer is going to... Wait, what did you just say? The killer. The killer? What's he doing? He looks like he's mulling something over. Alright, dude. I accept your terms. Huh? I'll let you represent me in court. We did it! We did it, Mr. Nick! Alright, well, let's let's just gloss over the fucking the killer thing. Uh, yeah. And I'll let you fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean it? <laughs> I don't feel any better for it, and he doesn't look too happy either. Go ahead. Ask me anything. I'll help us out as much as I can. <laughs> can we do this over Reddit? <laughs> Man, I thank my lucky stars that people know my name. Well, you're quite the hero, and you're in the national spotlight. I didn't even know who he is. Does that mean I'm not a good citizen? Oh, Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really great to be the Nickel Samurai. Dude, lately I just keep on getting more and more popular. Now I'm in jail. <laughs> <laughs> It's sort of just like the natural like arc of a celebrity these days. <laughs> Fucking awesome, dude. <laughs> True enough. The Nickel Samurai is very popular among high schoolers and secretaries right now. I guess Mr. Ongard has a way of catching the eyes of Huaman. Do you know my motto? Refreshing like a spring breeze. That's what I am. A spring breeze. That's why this kind of scandal is disastrous, dude. I mean, even if I get out of here tomorrow, it's still gonna look bad. But everyone loves a good scandal. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, like, everyone's gonna think you're cool for maybe killing that yeah. guy. Can you tell me about your activities last night? After I got the award, I took a break and went back to my room. I thought, wouldn't it be cool to kill Juan right now? <laughs> I had that post-ceremony stage show to do, so I was in my Nickel Samurai costume. And you were alone the entire time? My manager was running around being busy, so yeah. Because of the press conference you were supposed to hold after the show? I told you, dude. I have no idea about any press conference, alright? That's strange. I thought the Nickel Samurai was going to confess something. Anyway, when I was leaving my room, this one I noticed was kind of noisy. Mr. Carita was already dead. <laughs> Mr. Carita was already dead at that time. Yeah, that's what I gathered anyway from my manager, who I'm killed him. I'm Oops. beginning to gather that this guy can't do a thing on his own. And that's where the detective in the green coat showed up. He searched me, and then out of the blue, the dude arrested me. He searched me. Searched me. <laughs> searched my buddy. About you and the victim, Mr. Juan Corrida, what sort of, uh... This got nothing to do with anything, dude. Oh, it does it not have anything to do with anything? What does the victim have to do with a murder case? <laughs> Man, with that face of his, you can't even tell me he's the same age as me. He wanted to try to make a jammin' ninja movie, even though we all knew it'd fail. The Nickel Samurai still won in the end, right? Yeah, I took the Grand Prix by storm. So why would I, the winner, have any reason to kill the guy anyway? Dude, you think it would be the other way around, you know? I guess. Um, do you know why you were arrested? I guess maybe my full body search went badly. Did they find something on you? <laughs> Nothing weird, just like three guns, five knives, two brass knuckles, and the dead guy. Yeah, and this humongo... Alright. <laughs> <laughs> and a map saying dead man here. <laughs> <laughs> They found a button from the Jammin' Ninja's costume. A button? I don't get it either. It was caught in the pleats of my samurai pants. Or Hakama. <laughs> <laughs> or Hakama, as the Japanese say. Ah! Dude, I really think someone planted it there, though. I'm serious. I wonder if that's what really happened. I guess this is about all I'm gonna get out of him. Mr. Nick? What? Let's ask one last thing. Let's test Mr. On Guard to see if he really is innocent or not. We can do that. Yeah, 
this? If you use this... Why is Magatama? He won't be able to hide any secrets from you, Mr. Nick. I'm sure of it. I get it. I get it now. Magic is bullshit. <laughs> Mr. On Guard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Please answer me honestly. What is it, dude? Did you kill Mr. Juan Corita? What? Hold oh, on. Let me call my manager. I have to call my lawyer. <laughs> Please put the phone away and answer this question yourself. Alright. Just so we're clear, dude. Yup. <laughs> I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Corita, okay? And... Scene. Well, Mr. Nick? Nothing. Not a chain or lock in sight. Which means it's alright to trust him. Yeah, it does appear that way. Well, at least I can breathe a sigh of relief knowing my client is innocent, according to some fucking rock. I can't believe this guy didn't turn out to be a criminal mastermind. <laughs> uh, the trial's tomorrow, right? I'm counting on you, dude. Wow, I could just do this for every murder case? It's yeah. fucking great. It would've been cool to do that to each and every person that we've encountered. <laughs> Seriously. Maybe just do that to fucking Acro? Did yeah. you murder someone? Yup. No. <laughs> well. Five Psyche Locks. How about that, huh? I've also been informed that it's pronounced Psyche Locks and not Psych Locks. What? Yeah. I don't know. Because you're like going into somebody's psyche or I whatever? I guess so, yeah. Interesting. Mm hmm Interesting. Now we know for the future. Well, at least we were able to get Matt on guard as our client. And we know that he didn't do it, which is very important. As sure as you have crazy black eyes, Pearl. <laughs> so, so now what should we do? Well, you should go home. <laughs> <laughs> well, the trial is tomorrow and we only get this one chance. There's only one way to prove Mr. On Guard's innocence. We have to find the real killer. Was it you, Pearl? What? No. All right, cool. Only eight billion people to go. <laughs> okay, then let's start looking. That's you. No. Nope. That's me. <laughs> okay, then let's start looking. <laughs> you were wrong in every yeah, way you could. <laughs> absolutely. I saw the P and I was like, surely a Henix <laughs> follows that. <laughs> Since there are no psyche locks. Yeah, just in time. Then that means we can trust Mr. On Guard to be innocent. I really feel much better knowing that. Ever since last night, I'm so worried that I kept wondering. What if he is the real killer? What then? Uh, it'd be fucked up. Hey, I have something I want to ask you, Pearls. Okay, what is it? Why are you so interested in how Maya and I get along? I mean, she and I don't have anything special. Go. I thought you and Mystic Maya were... Did you mistake it all this time? No way. I thought you were plowing her mound, Phoenix. Jesus what? Christ, <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> she really wasn't kidding. Pearls actually believes Maya and I are... Maybe I should have just left it alone. I can't believe it. I thought you were tearing that ass <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nick, stop it! Don't hide your true feelings from me! <laughs> Mr. Nick, admit it! Face down! Ass up! That's the way she likes to fuck, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she slapped me! Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright. Uh, talk to somebody else. Do you think Maya feels that way? Oh, absolutely. She likes you? Totally. Oh, okay. I, she's I, Phoenix is just like clueless. Yeah, yeah. She's definitely like dropped hints. Got it. And she's doing that like. And by clueless, I mean gay <laughs> for that's, Edgeworth. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. I mean, she she's doing that kind of like schoolgirl, like like. Oh, you know, I'm gonna tease you a little bit, but it's actually because I like you. Right. Like, right. Like, yeah. yeah. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I guess it's. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't come in without... Good morning! Hold on, it's you! What is going on around here? Uh, um... I heard poor Juan was killed, is that true? It's a bad rerun is what this is. Another steel samurai doing the most evil of deeds. Um, you know, that's not entirely... 
I'll have you know that I was a huge fan of wands. Why, oh why do all the stars I'm interested in drop one on one by one like flies? It's always been that way. Ever since I was a little girl, the class hamster was fine until the, my, the other kids started calling me Queen Reaper. I swear that's why whatever your name is, a spell dies within three minutes. Um, actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. Wow, he just, um, actually to murder. <laughs> hmm, don't push me, boy. Um, Mr. Nick, I hate this bitch. <laughs> I, um, I couldn't hear everything she said because she was talking too fast. Ms. Oldback, could you please speak a little slower? Don't boss me around your spiky hair and smarty pants. rat a tat 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 <laughs> <laughs> There's something very funny about whenever the character gets like a thing, like a little gag. Yeah, I know. My dear hamster died a year ago in that dreadful murder, and only recently did I finally find a star that makes this heart go badump again. Uh, you going badunkadunk? I don't know what to say. You have a heart murmur? Yeah. I ask you, why does every star I cheer for always end up kicking the bucket? Um... I'd watch your words. No one's going to get away with saying anything bad about my wand. But I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. Huh? What woman? That irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent. Ah, uh, yes, that's her. I mean, what is that manner of speaking supposed to be? And why does she never stop? Honestly, women these days, they don't know the meaning of the word modesty. When I was a young maiden, I was so beautiful even for the flowers, but this, like this, I had to push. Oh my god. Pearls, are you thirsty? Thirsty for more Game Grumps? Because you'll have to see it next time. All right. We'll see you then, everyone. Oh, bye bye. Good day. Bye bye.